You are living proof that independent designers can make it big. Uh, Emily Blumenthal, who is my prime example, is truly extraordinary. And there she is actually in San Francisco when you're sold out. Messenger bags, evening bags, and weekenders. Bags made from burlap, wood, and recycled cassette tapes. It's blue Italian leather, and it is beautiful. We are joined right now by Emily Blumenthal, founder of handbagdesigner101.com. Emily Blumenthal founded the competition to help unknown handbag designers. And I thought that was so fascinating that it's not a transitive property that you wouldn't know just because of what's going on upstage is not what's going to sell mm -hmm. in stores. Designers wanting to stay on top of their game had better arrive early. Anything like this before. So when you go out, you can go like this. You can't look fabulous if something's in your armpit. Hey, I could use one of those. To see if the Bendel buyers agreed that this was a saleable item, we followed Emily along inside. We've been following one of the store's brightest discoveries, handbag designer Emily Blumenthal. Emily's made the strap-on a must-have for city bag lovers, and she's now showing her wares back at Bendel's in her first trunk show. They were impressed enough to invite Emily back to the store for a one-day trunk show, a chance to sell her goods and impress the store with the buzz she's creating. New Yorkers are quick to see the benefits of a Yasmina bag. Yeah, you gotta look good when you go out, and having something in your armpit just won't cut it. Emily is something of a master of self-promotion. She garnered a Time Out New York listing and a Daily News spread to drum up customers for her trunk show, not to mention a New York Central film crew. You have something interesting. It just takes a little bit of pushing, and just because someone says no, it doesn't necessarily mean that they mean it. Her media savvy paid off. Emily scored the ultimate PR coup when she turned a chance encounter with Lindsay Sex and the City and stylist said, Rebecca Weinberg into a Yasmina cameo in the upcoming season. I started my line while I was getting my MBA, and whatever that means in today's world right now, the, the luck that I had of that timing was to understand the importance of research and really cracking down. You know, there's that four Ps, there's price, product, promotion, placement, but the one thing that people always forget is right the smack in the middle is customer. a responsibility um, as an advocate, as a representative of, of designers everywhere, their needs, their wants, to make sure that their voices are heard. It's like my kind of give back. <laughs> this is Emily from the Handbag Awards. How are you? Oh my God. I'm just calling to tell you that you are a finalist in this year's Handbag Awards. Oh, amazing. As a former handbag awards entrant, to start from an independent designer to where my company's grown to today is, is a big leap and it's a big adventure and so I hope this is where people can get their start. These two not only are sort of ethically made in country, they also give back as well. I've been given a platform they might not have been given had it not been for you in this organization, which is great. It's important to nurture, foster, anything that can make product king again and people who make product king are the designers. What is the difference between when you started, me, and now? The big difference is you. This is a fantastic thing. For me, it's very, very wonderful because I came that way. I started from just folding leathers and trying to figure out what to do. Calling to tell you that you are in fact a winner. <laughs> oh wow, oh my god. This is this is like wow. 
Oh my God. Guard that extra momento to tell you that you are the winner for the socially responsible category. What? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I'm like, really? So without further ado, let's start the show.